Hi, Rich Smith from Mustang Zephyr. What we're going to show you today is how to install our roll bar. Uh, the only thing that we've actually changed on this is the outer bracket that used to be in three pieces, we made it in one piece. Uh, we did that for a couple reasons. One, for cost. It's cheaper to make it that way. And aesthetically, it looks better and it's actually stronger by just making this in one solid piece. But other than that, the roll bar is basically the same way it was in 1967. So what we're going to show you now is how this roll bar goes in and why we designed it this way. Okay, now we're going to show you how we install these. We've got the other side already fastened and what we're using is a button head Allen bolt, stainless steel. Now if you had a 67 model uh, or even 65 Ford was actually doing this, this is already notched out in here. There's already a hole here for an anchor, but they didn't start putting these anchors in unless you had the optional seat belts in 67, but all your 68s already had a factory anchor. Now if you do have the earlier years, what we do is we furnish you with a J-clip, which is basically the same thickness as the anchor that Ford put in there. So uh, all you have to do is literally slide this anchor in this slot and put it right in there, and that's where this roll bar is going to bolt. So that side's already fastened, so all we're going to do is we're going to fasten this side over here, because this is the first thing you want to do is get your, get your roll bar in where it needs to be. Really, that's about all we need right there. Now, what we're furnishing you with is a flat plate. This plate is going to get welded up on top of the torque box. So, all you're going to do is get this plate basically where it needs to be, run this roll bar back. Now, most of the time, this, these roll bars are short enough that you probably don't have to cut them down, but sometimes you might have to. It can depend on the torque box, if the car's been wrecked or repaired or whatever, but otherwise, uh, just let the roll bar float back right where it needs to be and then position your plate underneath it. Now once you've got your plate welded on and you got it where, where you want it, then you're going to take this back piece and you're going to line it up exactly where you want. Now we got a round radius on the top, little square on the bottom. Square goes on the bottom. So all you'll do is next put this plate right back there like we have this one. Push your roll bar back where you want it and then start to tack weld this and then you can pull it out if you like and you can weld it into the inside if you want or you can weld on the bottom. If you weld on the inside, make sure this is short enough. Now once that's in and all that's been welded, then all you have left is your front plate. And the front plate's going to go right here and what you need to do is line up your holes and then drill your holes to the roll bar and we're furnishing you with the bolts that go through. So the reason why we actually done it this way is because this is before we actually came up with the one piece headliner. So for an upholstery shop to put a roll, a roll bar in, or I should say to put a headliner in with a roll bar installed was very difficult. So that's the reason why we came up with this idea of making it a bolt in. So you can take the roll bar out, get your headliner put in, then put the roll bar back. Now for added safety and security, I will say these are uh, more for aesthetics than anything. We do hook our seat belts up to this for a three point setup or a four point setup. But to really strengthen these things and make them even more safe, uh, I would suggest if you want to, completely weld the roll bar in at the bottom and run a kicker tube off the back of this. The only downside of that is once the roll bar's in, it's in permanently and you're not going to take it out. This way you have the option of being able to move this thing in and out anytime you want. So basically that's about all there is to the roll bar. And uh, thank you.